Lindsay, thank you. Our top story this Thursday morning, the historic day ahead right here in D.C. In less than 10 hours from now, former President Donald Trump will appear in a federal court here in downtown Washington. Yeah, of course, this is a big deal. It's the third time he's had to appear in court in just the last three months. This time, a federal grand jury indicted him on, on four felony charges in the January 6th investigation. The former president is accused of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election results. Our Matt Gregory kicks off our team coverage this morning from the courthouse in uh, downtown and mad it's about to get uh, rather crazy there how's it look right now though I mean, right now it's very sedate other than the other camera crews here from the uh, other media outlets, international and national. But let me show you about the security presence because that's the big deal here. You can see we have a fence that runs the length of the Prettyman Courthouse right here. It's the U.S. Marshals. This is sort of that coordinated effort between local law enforcement as well as federal law enforcement to make sure that security is uh, available for what we expect to see, which is a level of uh, Trump supporters as well as counter protesters. And then, as you can see, it kind of runs the length here. You have all sorts of different media outlets, international and national, that are here. now. The pres former president will be here, Donald Trump, uh, sometime in the afternoon. He will be appearing in person, but we don't expect that we will actually see him. So let me take you through what we can expect today. Here's the nuts and bolts of his court appearance. Now, remember that this is around 4 o'clock this afternoon that we will see the former president uh, uh, coming into the courtroom here. Trump's legal team has said he will attend it. He did have the option to appear virtually, and we're told by law enforcement that he will be brought from the airport by motorcade. Now, he's expected to plead not guilty at this arraignment hearing to the charges and because it is an arraignment, it's only going to take a few minutes. And we talked with former law enforcement officials to find out if we would expect to see the former president walking up the steps. And they said, no, it's likely he will be brought in a side entrance or an underneath entrance to the courthouse. When it's a very public event, you prefer covered arrivals, uh, as much cover as possible, less exposure to the public on the sidewalk. But even so, security around the building has been, there's been security tight around the building all week. Law enforcement teams, like I said, from MPD, our local teams, to the federal law enforcement level, Capitol Police, Park Police, you name it, have been working together throughout the week, sharing information on potential crowds and groups who may show up. And a former police chief, uh, Charles Ramsey, here in D.C., says they've likely been doing intelligence gathering. What's going on on social media? What are they hearing in the street? Are they going to have protesters show up? All these kinds of things. They'll be checking with like bus companies uh, to see whether or not buses have been rented uh, to come into uh, D.C., hotel reservations. Now, if you're asking or wondering to yourself, well, are there other people here yet? Are there any protesters, counter protesters? Are we seeing anything of that nature? The answer is no, not right now. There's no one camped out here. It's mostly just us, the media who are here for right now. And we do see a presence of a presence rather of security of police starting to arrive. And we expect to see that ramping up as we get into the afternoon with that four o'clock court date for the former president, Donald Trump. But for now, outside the Prettyman Courthouse, I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9. Thanks, Matt. And I've been looking for any road closures that could impact your commute downtown today. So remember, Mr. Trump will be coming here to the federal courthouse. That's in Northwest D.C. and that's on Constitution Avenue, right in the heart of downtown. So far, D.C. police tell me that they have no planned road closures related to Mr. Trump's arraignment today. However, they did give me this statement saying that rolling road closures and short term traffic implications um, and there are also parking restrictions around the federal courthouse. Those are in place right now, as Matt has been telling you all morning long. And for residents in the Capitol Hill neighborhood, uh, they're just hoping that the impact is minimal. Hopefully it's not a big hassle for us. Ideally, we wouldn't have any uh, traffic jams or uh, blockades or anything, but I know that that's been a problem in, in times past. So basically, for those of us who live and work here, we're pretty used to this. It's the same deal when anyone of this magnitude comes through. So police will likely close off roads temporarily as the former president does come in. And of course, as we get updates from police throughout the day, we will keep you posted on air and online.